Hey y'all, it's your girl Tiggy, and I'm back to you today with a Zuper Widget status bar. Now, this is something that I just figured out how to do literally last night. Um, I was kind of bored, so I decided to figure out how to do it. Um, the icons that I, I'm using are from the Sunkiss theme, um, as well as I'm using some alkalines from iPhone Jailbreak, if you guys know anything about that. I do have some alkalines because I do jailbreak my iPhones as well. So um, those are able to be unzipped and you can use the images, which is what you're seeing at the top. So y'all already know I'm about that pre-work life. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and show you guys how I put my name Tiggy at the top. I basically just created a... Um, PNG or transparent image. Now I do use the computer um, Photoshop. I use that a lot for a lot of the different things you see on my phone. However, I'm going to show you a way that you don't need a computer. You can literally use your phone. So what you're going to need is this app called PixArt. Uh, with PixArt, you could do a lot of different editing, um, but this is one of my favorite apps to use, which I will definitely go ahead and link PixArt down below for you guys if you do not have this app. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and open PixArt, let it load up, and you're gonna hit the pink plus sign down here at the bottom, you're gonna hit edit. Now when this opens, you're gonna hit background, and you're gonna hit the very first option at the top next to the color wheel. This will make it a transparent image because you want the background to be clear, basically. So once you do that, you'll get this page opening up for you and I'm going to scroll over and hit text. And today we're gonna put, let's put slay. And you're going to go ahead and size it the way you want to, which this, of course, is going to be resized. So that's okay. You'll be able to resize this image. So don't worry too much about that. I'm going to go ahead and pick the color that I want. And I am going to make it... Let's go ahead and add a little light blue in our lives. Okay. And I'm going to hit stroke. And this will give, as you can see, an outline. You can make it thicker or thinner. We're going to thin that down a little bit. I'm also going to go ahead and go to my fonts. So these are preloaded fonts that come with um, PixArt. However, you can add your own fonts to here, which I do create my own fonts and I do add them to this, which I could do another video for you guys. Today, we're just going to go solely based off of what fonts you have here. So I like this one. So we're going to go ahead and hit the check mark at the top and we're going to save this to our phone. Okay, so we're going to save the gallery. Now we know we have that in our gallery. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do is, what you're going to do is you're going to need this art, this uh, oh, this app as well. It is called Pipette. The reason why you're going to need this is because this will help you get your colors exact. Um, so what you're going to do is hit the plus sign and you're going to load up the wallpaper you're going to use. So I am going to load this little snippet here because it has a couple colors and this will show you the list of colors so we'll leave that running in the background so what you're going to do next is i'm going to go ahead and go to this page because it is empty and i'm using total launcher so you're going to go into edit mode um, whichever launcher you're using and or if you're using the regular like samsung you're still going to press and hold and you're going to add a widget so we're going to go ahead and add this widget once we get to here, we're going to look for Zuper, and you're just going to tap one. The reason being is because, as you can see, you can go ahead and resize this to your liking, which is what I do. Make it about this big, and I have S9, so I'm going to just make sure that it covers long enough. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and come out of my editing mode. What you're also going to do is make sure to take whatever theme that you would like to use. Um, see if they have like your signal icons and your battery icons and things like that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to iPhone and we're going to go to Alkalines and see. We'll use this one. See which one because I know I want to have a battery image up there. Please keep in mind as well these images are standstill so the lte um, up here as well as the battery they do not move the time of course changes as well as my battery percentage but everything else does not move 
So once I have that extracted as well, I'm going to go ahead and tap on this. And we're going to tap on empty. Then we're going to hit layout. Once we hit layout, you're going to hit the plus sign at the top. And the first thing I'm going to do is scroll down to, or what we'll do, yeah, scroll down to bitmap. And we're going to put battery. This is so that when you're moving things around, you know what is what. I'm going to scroll all the way down to bitmap. Pick a bitmap from your device gallery. Once you go there, I'm going to go into my gallery. And we're going to see where everything is. I'm not too sure if it put it where it belongs, but we can easily find them. And it didn't. So let's go find it. There it is. So whenever you download your alkalines, you will need to go ahead and unzip the image. Let's see. Okay, now that it's unzipped, as you can see, there goes the different images for the battery. I am, of course, only going to be using one, um, and this will be this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to my SD card, DCIM, and uh, we're going to drop it in there. So now you can go back to your widget, tap on it. And you're gonna hit the battery as you can see the little battery image is up there you can scale it so that one was kind of small so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger and then we're gonna go ahead and scroll up and X offset and Y offset this is how you're gonna move it over so I like mine to be kind of in the same position as my regular battery so we're gonna make it about there then you can go ahead and hit back and you're gonna hit plus sign again and we are going to hit text this one we're going to label time and we're going to scroll down text content time and we're going to hit this one because that's the one that i like so that you have the am and pm showing as well then you can go ahead and hit color this is where having that um that app up with your wallpaper loaded comes into hand. So we're gonna delete, and that usually takes it all away. Okay, now what you're gonna do is open up this app here and pick what color you wanna make your time. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it this purple. And as you can see, you press and hold on it and it'll copy to your clipboard. And then what you do is you go click back on here and it'll bring you back to where you're at. You're gonna hit layout, you're gonna hit time, and you're gonna scroll down and hit color. And then here, you're gonna delete what's there. You're gonna hit your clipboard and tap that, and as you can see, the colors change. And then I'm gonna go down and I'm also going to change, let's find it here. text font family this is where you're going to be able to choose your fonts so there are some in here that i've created and then there's other ones that um are ones that they found on apps and things like that that i have on my phone so i'm gonna hit this one because i do like how that looks and i'm also going to scale that up a little bit then i'm gonna move it i like my time to be behind my battery so i'm gonna move that over and then I will probably move my battery over a little bit as well. So I'm gonna hit back, I'm gonna hit battery, and I'm gonna move it slightly over. Then we're gonna hit the plus side, plus sign again. You're gonna hit text, you're gonna hit module, and we're gonna say percent. We're gonna go down, text content, and as you can see, it says all the ones that you can put. We're gonna put battery and we're gonna say percent. And as you can see, boom, there's a percent. 
So then what we're going to do is we're also going to go ahead and hit text font family. I like all my fonts to match. I think I'm going to switch it, yeah, to the normal bold. Then we can go back to that app again and let's choose a different color. Copy that one. And then you'll every time you leave it, you'll have to go back in, but that's okay because we have everything labeled. So it's very easy for you to find things. You're going to hit color. Bring that over. We're going to delete, 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 delete. And clipboard, pop that in there. Tap on the color itself. If you just hit the back button, it will reset the color and you'll get frustrated. So make sure you tap on the color when it shows you it in the preview window. Then we're going to move that over as well. We'll move it there. So now, as you can see, those are set. So what I'm going to do now as well is I'm going to go back into my Dropbox and I am going to look for my Zeppelins. Now let's see if we can find a Zeppelin that will look cute. Uh, let's click on this one. It's saved. We're going to unzip, click on it, press and hold. We're going to move it to the SD card. And then we're going to go back into our edit here and we are going to hit layout. We're going to add, we're going to go scroll down to the bitmap. You're going to scroll down to pick your bitmap and boom, we're going to hit that summer. Then we're going to do the same thing where we move it over. So move this here. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add the LTE and the signal bars. This is something that's completely optional. You do not have to do this, um, but I just like how it looks. It looks very cute. So let's see. We're going to add bitmap again, and we're going to choose our bitmap. We're going to go back into our gallery because I don't think it's there. And where you're going to find that at is in your UI images folder. If you're using um, an iPhone jailbroken theme or if you purchase them, I usually do purchase them because of the simple fact they have more images. So you're going to go ahead. We're going to look for UI images for the summer kiss theme, of course, which here's one. And here's two. I think, let's see, let's look at this one again. Uh, we'll use the combination. So what I'm going to do is hit this one. We are going to use the lollipops for the signal bars because I like those. And I am also going to move those over. I like how it looks and then this is where you can add whatever you want you can do that from the beginning as well but those are just kind of the foundations of the things that I like to add but we do need to change the time font there we go so here you can add your sleigh in there. You can add another Zeppelin. You can pretty much decide what you would like to add in there. You can add whatever you would like. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go back. And this is where the background for the widget comes into hand. So again, we're going to go back to that Pippet app because we have all the colors listed. And how about we make it if I can find a different color. You can also choose manually. Um, so I like that as well. Mm. Let's try this one. This purple is nice. You don't want anything too bright. At least I don't. I don't want to hurt my eyes. And then we're going to delete 
and you're going to go to your clipboard, pop that purple in there, and there's that. So as you can see, then we're going to go back into the edit mode because this is too big. So this is where you're going to minimize and drag it up. Now, of course, this is very simple. I would probably add a little bit more um, to this. And then, of course, as you can see, you can kind of make it as thick or as small as you want. And um, it's pretty much your choice of, of what you would like to add on there or if you want to make it thicker or bigger or anything like that. So I like to keep it kind of the same size as what'll be up here and there's that so of course i would add i would definitely go ahead and add some more um images to that you can if you want to go ahead and edit this image as well and add no color so that um it's transparent which is what i did on this end so it's transparent on this end so you do have quite a few options if you guys have any more questions please feel free to let me know i'm more than happy to answer any question that you have um, definitely check out the description box i will have the information listed for the pippet app as well as pixart as well as my instagram so you guys can go ahead and follow me there as well i hope you guys have a blessed day and i'll see you next time